And I don't know if you knew, Jim, but Steph Curry is good at basketball. Curry. And there's your MVP. This is becoming ridiculous. Steph Curry, the MVP, the best shooter in this league. There are only 10 players in the history of the NBA to have back-to-back -back MVP awards. And most of them are either in the Hall of Fame or on their way to the Hall of Fame. But what does it mean to you to be compared in the same category as Bird and Magic, Kareem, Wilt, Russell, or some of the greats who've done the same thing that you've done this year? It doesn't even make sense, man. I mean, it's a dream come true to be in this position and very appreciative of, of, like you said, the club that I'm in. The names you just mentioned are guys that have made the league, basically. They kept the league in good hands and, and pushed it to new heights. So having that torch pass on to me, it's, it's special. The first unanimous MVP in NBA history, the 2015-16 Kia NBA Most Valuable Player, Stephen Curry. Including those names you mentioned, none of them have been a unanimous MVP. You're the first ever. I mean, that. Just, I, I was thinking about that in the history of the game. I think it's 60 plus years they've voted on MVP awards and there's no denying the fact that those legends and the guys that have won MVP obviously deserved it and cemented their place in history by winning the award. But anytime you can do something that's never been done in, in the history of the game, I mean, you gotta just take a moment and just be appreciative of that. That's what I'm doing right now. The unanimous MVP. And we all unanimously like that shot. But you had to deal with some injuries this year in the playoffs. How tough has that been for you physically and mentally? No, it's been tough. I've been through injuries before, but never missed playoff games um, or you know a duration of, of two weeks in the best time of the year. So for a lot of reasons, I just want to be out there on the on the court with my teammates and and finish this job that we've set ourselves up to do. But now that I'm back, I feel very confident that I can get my rhythm and, and find a way to help my team keep winning. Now you're back, and you announced to the world <laughs> that you were back. Curry behind the back, step out, takes a three. He's got another one! Stephen Curry! 17 points in overtime. Tells the fans, I am back. Going into the game, you had been hurt. Everyone talked about there's going to be rust there. You maybe struggled a little bit early on, but you found your rhythm. Uh, you got hot there at the end of the game in overtime. What was going through your mind down the stretch when you were in the zone? I was just kind of happy I was on the court because Coach had put a minute limit on me. And with the way the game had gone, he knew I had to be out there on the floor. And so I knew I wanted to take advantage of that. Screen by Draymond. Bounce pass to Azili. Back to Curry. Takes the three. It's up and good. And Curry, the MVP. Going into overtime, I hadn't shot the ball well at all the whole game. The adrenaline kicked in. and. I uh, saw a shot go down, and things started to click. Fades and fires, it's a two, and it's good for Curry! And in that moment, in winning situation in the playoffs, that's what you work for, that's what you live for. And it was nice to be back on the floor playing and help you know, impact the game. What a move by Steph Curry. And it took me a full 48 minutes to get going, and then I finally figured it out. Curry front court, trying to put the dagger in the Blazers. Fade away three for the game. That's why he's the back-to-back -back MVP. The Warriors advance to the Western Conference Finals. For back-to-back -back MVPs, how does back-to-back -back champions sound for you? It sounds good, and that's what we're, we're fighting for. Obviously, you got to stay in the moment. Um, it's all about winning that next playoff game because it's so hard to win one playoff game, let alone 16, uh, on their way to a championship. So we've done it before. We know the process and the grind. The ultimate goal is to be standing, you know, win your last game, stand on the podium, you know, celebrating all the work that goes into winning a championship.